funny, my real camera will not stop overheating, so today we are filming on the iPhone. So just let your retinas absorb all this high quality front camera action. Today we are going to be unboxing another mystery box of products. You guys have been missing this particular subscription box and I think that this one came to me while I was out of town so this one is probably like a month old but so many of you guys have been requesting that I unbox another fortune cookie soap unboxing box. So that is what we are doing today. These only come seasonally so this is at least the most recent box because this should be the fortune cookie soap summer box. We have opened the seal. Ugh, have we? Yes. Ah, I don't know what the theme. Oh, now I do. Oh, this is so cute. The theme for the summer box is just keep swimming. So I'm assuming that these are all going to be Finding Nemo related products. Was anybody else just totally frustrated with Nemo though? I'm like, Nemo, why are you such a disrespectful fish? This is what it looks like on the inside. And Fortune Cookie Soap, of course, makes bath products. They make a lot of products like Lush that are bath bombs and lotions and soaps and things like that. So uh, right on the top, we have Aqua Scum. Doesn't that sound delightful? And all of their product labels are just so cute and colorful. And I don't think I've ever gotten this type of product before. This is a spray lotion. So let's go ahead and spray. Ooh, that is very interesting. I'm trying to smell the smells. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like if you were at the beach or at the pool and your skin starts feeling dry, you are supposed to spray this lotion and then you just lightly rub it into your skin. And uh, I really like this. I love the technology of spray products. If it's in a spray bottle and you can just spray it on, give it to me. I want it. It smells fruity to me um, and it is supposed to be a moisturizing blend of juicy lychee, lychee, how do you say that? Crisp apple and mouthwatering peach nectar. Next product which I always use up completely when I get them in the fortune cookie soap boxes is the hand sanitizer. So this is called Lil Blue and the label looks the same on the front but just look at this product. It really looks nice and oceany. It seems like there is maybe just a little bit of shimmer in here that's probably not able to be seen on this lovely iPhone camera. This is supposed to smell like pears, juicy apples, plum blossoms, and sandalwood. Let's go ahead and just squeeze a little bit. Ew. Oh, I'm so weak. Who doesn't always need to sanitize their hands? I need to sanitize every minute of every day. Mmm. I wish there was like a huge sanitization wipe. Like I just want to sanitize my whole body at once sometimes. Next product in here is called Intervention. And this is the whipped cream. And I always love the whipped cream products from Fortune Cookie Soap as well because they are so light and fluffy and buttery. And the lights are probably greatly washing this out. But this product is a really nice lavender color. Let's go ahead and Take a sniff, take a whiff. This smells very coconutty. I bet coconut water is an ingredient in here. This is an enchanting blend of creamy coconut milk and tangy, 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 tangy pineapples drifting in a warm island breeze. Next thing in here is called Jelly Man. And I think that this is a new product for Fortune Cookie Soap. Just looking at the back of the container, it looks like it's going to be similar to the Lush Bath Jellies. And this looks like it is a fantastic sandy color. Like if you're just walking on the beach, beach sand. Ooh, it is very springy. I'm trying to free it from this little jar. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. I think that this is my favorite scent so far. And it is just so beautiful. There is like a blue sheen to it, which once again, I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see that on camera, but it is very similar to the jelly 
products from Lush. I think it is a little bit stiffer than the bath jellies, but that also might be because all of the products in this box are sample size and the Lush jellies have more product. So probably when it's bigger, it's more like wobbly. You know what I mean? This scent is amazing. It is a blend of black cherry, watermelon, and frothy iced guava nectar floating with sliced strawberries and key limes. It's just very almost like tangy, tangy, um, tart, fruity smell. I am so excited to take a bath today so I can use that product. Up next, I'm so sad that mine is busted, but it is still very cute. And this is a Petty Balm. So it is a bath balm, shrimply for your feet, and he is a cute little turtle. So he's probably supposed to be like Crush. Isn't that the turtle's name from Finding Nemo? He is supposed to smell like lemon lime fizzy pop floating with orchids and a curl of white chocolate. Ooh, okay. I might have to change my mind about the scent. He is called Finn Noggin Dude. I'm not sure if that's like the product name or just the scent name, but this smells amazing. I guess I do pick up on the chocolate just a little bit, but oh my gosh, I just want to use all of this stuff today. I hope that all the products in this scent have not sold out yet. That's the other cool thing about Fortune Cookie Soap is if you get a product and you like the scent, most of the time you can get like this jelly man scent in the hand sanitizer or you know vice versa usually the scents are kind of intertwined i would definitely buy other products in that turtle scent it's amazing next up we have the signature namesake product which is the fortune cookie soap and i can tell it's orange through the bag so i bet this is going to be the finding nemo the nemo specific product and it's called Shark Bait. These soaps from Fortune Cookie Soap always look so delicious. It's like you could eat it, you know? And it does have a real fortune inside. So let's go ahead and read ours. And this is not a fortune, it's just a question. How old are sea turtles? I would love to know. Like I was saying, the soap is very Nemo looking, very clownfish looking, bright orange soap with little white stripes on it, much like a clownfish. This is supposed to smell like a fresh blend of sweet oranges, creamy vanilla ice cream, and juicy sandalwood. I don't think I have ever heard sandalwood being described as juicy before. That is very interesting. It mentions strawberries as well. And once again, this does have a nice fruity scent, but you can also detect like an ice creamy sort of vanilla scent as well. I like it, especially for the summer. I definitely think fruity smells are the way to go. Up next is a little vial of perfume and this is actually perfume oil in the scent Whale Talk and I'm glad to see that this is in different packaging this time because I think it was the last box I got the perfume packaging the perfume oil broke on me it didn't didn't work that well but this is like standard tester atomizer where am I shooting this oh uh, it definitely still sprays out like an oil though. And if you guys can see, it is like a very oily texture. It's not like a perfume spritz. So a little bit of this goes a long way because from all of my experience, perfume oils are definitely more pungent than like a perfume spray. This smells really floral, but also maybe a little bit citrus. So it says tropical mashup of strawberries, blackcurrant, jasmine, grapefruit, and fresh avocado. Very interesting. So it is kind of like a botanical and fruity mixture. So if that sounds pleasant to you, you would probably really enjoy this whale talk fragrance. And then the last thing in here is definitely a product I have never gotten before. For. It is a cosmetic product and it looks like a lip gloss or a lip scrub in a little jar. Honestly, it looks more glossy now that I'm opening it and you guys know lip glosses are not like my favorite thing in the world. This is called Ooh Barracuda, like the song. This definitely smells very 
Melanie, like maybe some watermelon. Ooh, is anybody's name out there Melanie? Because it sounds like I just said your name, but I meant like melon. Why Melanie? So this is Juicy Cantaloupe, Green Honeydew, and Sweet Red Watermelon. So there we go. That's just a bunch of melons. I'm going to try and just apply this on my lips. Oh, okay. That's actually like not bad. It's not a sticky feel, but it definitely is still like a very wet feel like lip glosses often have, which is not my favorite texture. Mostly you just get that glossy effect. There's really not much coloration in it, which is cool. But you know, once again, it's like a summer beach type product, I bet. So like if you're out and about and it's sandy and your lips are really dry, I bet that this would be like really tasty and beneficial. Uh, so it looks like we got a little bead in here. Maybe that's supposed to be like a pearl. I just dropped it. And then we have the worms. And that is it for this month's fortune cookie soap unboxing. Definitely they always sell out. These boxes are extremely popular. Also, I see they are still doing the $10 code. So anytime you get the box, you will get an email that allows you to get $10 worth of product on their store. This is not a sponsored video or anything. I'm just trying to be helpful and informative. I'd imagine there are still probably slots if you want to get the fall box, which how crazy is that to think of fall like when summer just started. I'm going to go try and buy some of these full size products. So if any of this stuff sounded delicious to you, Hopefully the whole collection isn't sold out already. I know sometimes that happens, especially when it's like a theme, like a really popular movie or something that people really like. Like they did a Harry Potter collection before and I think that that sold out within a couple of hours. I was really overall impressed with this month's box. Uh, there wasn't a smell that I didn't like. The only product that I probably wouldn't use too much myself is the lip gloss. It's not a bad product, you know? I just personally don't like it. The Turtle and the Jelly Man scents are by far and away my favorite. These two products smell amazing. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out here today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.